Continuing coverage tonight, it's been five days since, de since deadly tornadoes hit Ohio, especially in Logan County, where three people died in the storms. Cleanup continues in the hardest hit area there. Yeah, but tonight it's not just the devastation that the community has to think about. And TV's Lacey Chris live tonight to explain the problem local law enforcement is now. Lacey. Well, hundreds of volunteers have come to this area to help clear out the debris, but you'll also notice a heavy police presence, and there's a reason for that. It's devastating, but, you know, we're resilient, and people are just pushing through. People helping people. We're working from there to there, and we're working that way, and we're just going. Storms can bring out the best in humanity. Different. Um, Villages and cities, um, you know, just started sending people. The BSSA sent a ton of deputies um, from all over. But, you know, I remember being on Orchard Island, <clears throat> taking command of that. Two hours, I feel like, after the incident, I turn around and there's 250 firefighters or police officers from all over Ohio and Indiana that are, just, you know, there to help. But it can also bring out the worst. You know, so the bad is that people are selfish, um, you know. And I get it that, you, you know, some people reach that survival mode like it, it, it's about me and, and my property. Washington Township Police Chief Michael Thompson says there have been reports of looting in his area. It's beyond frustrating. And he will not tolerate his devastated residents to be taken advantage of. Our residents expect us to protect them. Um, I'm not politically correct <clears throat> at all. Um, and, and, you know, I'm very clear of, you know, we will find you if, if, if you're going to come take advantage of our residents. We will go to the ends of the earth to, to make sure that you're held accountable for it, which is just one of the reasons why you will see police officers, deputies and troopers from every end of the state keeping a watchful eye as residents clean up the pieces. Just know, you know, there's multiple agencies up here and, um, you know, if we have to arrest people, we will. So police have shut down different areas as crews try to clear out roads and debris. Now the chief says if you want to help, donate. Don't come to the area and get in the way. Reporting live, Lacey Crisp, 10TV News.